Is it right you do some training locally here in New England? Oh yeah, I mean most of my training I do here at the track. I live 10 minutes away so um, I'm very lucky to get to race and train in the same facility and I'm just really excited for everybody that's here because I love it here. It's a state-of-the-art facility and I've heard a lot of good compliments so far so yeah, just excited to keep running and training here. Awesome. Well, thank you thank so you. much. Congratulations. Oh, it's really special. I mean, my whole family's here, and my dad, that it's the six year anniversary of his passing today, so um, it's just really special. His, his local, he was an iron worker, and his union actually helped build this facility, so it just it has a lot of good energy for me. <laughs> what does it mean to be racing in a track where your sponsor and your team have invested so much in building the community around? It just means I wanted to prove that, you know, this is all worth it and that um, this has really helped us and it's just special to get to represent UMass, I mean not UMass, but UMass too, New Bounds at this level. I'm thinking of UMass because they were actually here this morning running the New England Championship, so they warmed it up for me, I keep thinking of myself. And have you been practicing that last year in training when, when you responded to that, that last little meters? Oh yeah, what I mean. What was the actual edge today? I just... I wanted the win today. I'm like, I can't settle for second if I got more in the tank. So, uh, Lucy is an amazing, incredible athlete, and I just was like, okay, I need to like prove myself today and you know get the win on the home track, and I'm happy I could do that. Yeah. 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 you on the final time and what's going through your mind? Are you thinking like, oh, she wins early, I got another deal left, or are you just tired? Like, what are you thinking in that moment? The final? The, um, on the final time when she lost you. I was like, do I have it in me to keep going? And uh, as soon as she passed, I was like, I could see her in the camera. And I was like, I definitely have it in me. So I just try to get after her. Like I said, Lucy is really good. and. I'm just impressed with myself to be able to race and train with these people, so yeah. Is it hard to come down from altitude and race at sea level so soon after you've been in, in Flagstaff? For so, I got back last Wednesday actually, so I've been down for a few days. The rest of my team got back this Wednesday. Um, so I've adjusted a little bit and I always feel like I need to get a race or two under my belt after altitude and I raced at the at BU last weekend, so I felt like I got that turnover a little bit. Yeah. What's the difference between this place when it's empty when you're training and then when you come in and you feel the energy of the fans and you hear it actually full? Well, I've been visualizing it being full, so getting to actually see it, like my family's in like a whole row to themselves up there, all my nieces and nephews are here, and um, I, I just was so happy lining up today, and it was almost like I felt so at peace, because I'm like, you know what, people are here, like no matter what, to support us and like experience this track, so... Yeah. How fast is the track like? I think it's fast. I mean, I've had some good luck on it, so. Just more quickly, what makes it special? Uh, maybe the atmosphere, the like the way it's set up for fans. It's like really a viewing experience. Like I was telling a lot of my friends and family that are here have never been to a track meet, and I was like, it'll change your perspective on the sport. Seeing this experience because sometimes people think about the score and they think like watching super long events it's not that fun yada yada and I said like this will change your experience because it's really an interactive experience here so yeah. So did you do your job by creating basically the most exciting finish you could? <laughs> I didn't mean to but I guess it helped. <laughs> what do you think of the new kits? I love the new kids, yeah. I'm just, yeah, I love New Balance. I'm so lucky to work with them, so. How are you gonna celebrate the win tonight? Celebrate, I'm gonna go see my family. My nephew's birthday was last night, so I'm gonna give him a big hug, and uh, maybe hit broken records. You never know where the night will take us. <laughs> yeah. Which uh, My nephew, Logan, he just turned four. Yeah, oh yeah, I have a lot. They're all here, so. You see little kids running around, they're probably related to me. <laughs> uh, you ruined your PR a lot in the 1500 to 358 last summer. What do you think led to that breakthrough? Um, just more confidence in myself, more experience racing at that level. I think being on the Diamond League circuit this summer made me want to prove that I belonged there, so I think that really just helped. Yeah. So what are your goals and expectations for this season? Just keep racing well, stay healthy, stay happy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you.